In 2008, the Obama campaign was known as No Drama Obama. Hillary Clinton's campaign was really the opposite. Her operation was saddled with the worst political buzzwords you can imagine, infighting, shakeups, and strategy and tactical disputes. This time around, though, there's been a whole lot of nothing coming from Brooklyn, especially compared with the Trump campaign, which seems to be as leaky as leak soup and has, of course, seen some high-level campaign staffers head to the exits. Historically, during tough times in any campaign, you're going to see some damaging background quotes and leaks. But even two weeks ago, when Clinton's campaign was fighting off a bevy of negative stories, the press was getting no finger pointing, no backbiting, no criticism of the candidate herself. That would be an extraordinary development for any campaign in tough times, but it is positively stunning for a campaign with a Clinton at the top. So, John, why has there been so little finger pointing, backbiting, recriminations, candidate blaming out of Brooklyn? Three reasons. One, she's ahead. Two. Well, but it hadn't happened even when she's been. In I, know, but, but yeah. I know, I understand, yeah. but largely they've been ahead yeah. for the yeah. long arc of yeah. the campaign. Yeah. She's been the favorite for yeah. all along, and they've been ahead yeah. for most of the campaign, and never really behind. Yeah. Number two, uh, John Podesta and Robbie Mook are guys who have who deeply have internalized the, the notion of being a no drama campaign. They came in putting a premium on this. And 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 then they're from Clinton world. And then they're this the infusion of the Obama people, the actual Obama people, people like Joel Benenson, Jim Margolis, who also obviously embody the no drama ethos of the Obama world. That combination of humans, the right kind of Clinton people, the old Obama people, and being ahead, I think has created an atmosphere of peace, calm, and discipline. Those are all I'll add some reasons to it. Number one. There's no one in the top tier of that campaign who is, a, as a matter of personality, a disruptive force the way Mark Penn was eight years ago. Correct. Another reason is that um, you've got uh, nobody in this campaign who's trying to get famous. You know, th they reluctantly do television interviews. There's not a person in there who anyone else looks at and wants to gain revenge on. Right. And despite Hillary Clinton's reputation and conduct at times, particularly eight years ago, she's treated the senior staff pretty well. Right. And so they're not inclined. They're in the bunker with her, even when things are bad, to work together. And it is a huge advantage, and it is unlike any Clinton campaign I've ever covered. And just to say, to give her credit, she learned some lessons from 2008 yep. and has acted on those lessons.